24 countries have now temporarily banned imports of birds or poultry products from Canada as a result of outbreaks of bird flu. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency says a fourth southern Ontario farm has been placed under quarantine after it confirmed the presence of the H5N1 strain of the avian flu. Cases at three other commercial poultry farms were detected after a red-tailed, red-tailed hawk was found with bird flu 10 days ago. Joining us now for more is Savannah Chalabois, Senior Director of Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University. Savannah, always a pleasure to have you on the program. Uh, this is a topic that, uh, you know, is going to have a lot of people talking with food prices going up. Um, first, start with, uh, if you could start with how this got to Ontario, um, where this flu comes from and the impact you expect it's going to have. Well, first of all, last year, late last year, there was an outbreak in Nova Scotia, and it was quickly contained. Uh, I think about 12,000 chickens had to be called. Now, in the fact that it's in Ontario, barns are typically closer, there's less space, and of course, uh, uh, this is probably our farmers' worst nightmare, mm-hmm. really. Uh, the bird flu is just something they just want to hear about, but it is happening. But since uh, over the last 20 years or so, I think Canada has done a better job uh, containing risks uh, related to the bird flu specifically. We've learned more about it. And uh, I mean, back in 2004, there was this uh, Abbotsford disaster. It was not very well managed. Had over 20 million chickens had to be called at the time. But the approach now today is much more uh, much more robust and uh, and. Typically, risks are contained much more quickly. Right. How do you contain these risks? Because uh, my understanding is this is an airborne virus. It is. uh, But you have to uh, have the support of farmers, and farmers are way more proactive than they used to, first of all. And then CFIA's approach is much more different, too. They don't hesitate as much as they used to as well. And so there will be testing more and more, and that's what we've been hearing the last few days. Uh, Tests will give us a sense of of what's actually going on. I mean, so we just got went through a pandemic over the last few years and we've all learned that testing is, is key in monitoring mm-hmm. risks. Right, and so Van, is there going to be an impact on food prices here, on poultry prices? Good question. I was expecting your question about retail prices. Now, back in 2004, uh, during the worst bird flu outbreak in, in the history of our country, Prices, chicken prices did go up slightly a month after the outbreak, but they went back down again. again. So same for eggs. So we're not expecting long-term implications uh, retail. So consumers shouldn't be impacted by what's going on. And so then just finally here, only a couple seconds left, but does this virus transmit to humans? No, there's no food safety risk at all. This is all about animals specifically. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Savannah Chalabois, Senior Director, Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University. Always a pleasure. Take care.